Lost Worlds, Discoveries of New and Lost Species Astound the World. The greater Mekong Valley and the forests of Tanzania and Africa have yielded a plethora of new species to scientists and researchers, fabulous reptiles including snakes and tree frogs, lizards and chameleons were found proving that the richness and diversity of species on earth can still surprise us. Deep in the wetlands and rainforests along the Mekong River that runs through six Asian countries, thousands of new species have been found. Species believed to have been lost have re-emerged in the greater Mekong, which comprises 232,000 square miles along 2,800 miles of the Mekong River in Cambodia, Laos, Burma, Thailand, Vietnam, and China. These areas have been sites of war and unrest for decades. These things and the remoteness of the region kept most scientists away for many years, but in the 1990s it began to be surveyed very extensively for its wildlife. An amazing, shocking pink millipede, a striped rabbit, a bright green pit viper, stunning flowers, and the Laotian rock rat, which may be the sole member of a completely new family or the last member of an almost extinct family, have been reported found by the World Wide Fund for Nature. The bright pink millipedes are laced with cyanide for defense, and a spider bigger than a dinner plate are among the host of new species discovered in these remote regions of the world. The greater Mekong is really one of the last scientifically unexplored regions of the world. Amazingly, like something out of an Edgar Rice Burroughs or Arthur Conan Doyle story, it abounds in unusual species, many believed to be extinct or very rare. Fantastically, this area has been turning up new species at an amazing rate of about two a week for the past ten years. Over 1,000 previously unknown animals and plants and many thousands of tiny invertebrates have been discovered in this area. The Anamite striped rabbits with black and brown fur were discovered in both Vietnam and Laos in 2000 and are only the second species of striped rabbit to be identified in the entire world. The other species is found in Sumatra and the animals share a common ancestor that lived several million years ago. The bizarre hot pink spiny dragon millipede was found in Thailand crawling over limestone rocks and palm leaves. To defend itself from predators, the millipedes have glands that produce lethal cyanide. Scientists believe that the shocking pink color signals to the predators that they would make a very deadly snack. A fantastically large huntsman spider is a foot in length and was found in caves in Laos. Eighty-eight new species of spiders were located in Laos, Thailand, and the Yunnan province of China. Thomas Ziegler, curator at Cologne Zoo, was among the researchers to explore the area. He said, It is a great feeling being in an unexplored area and to document its biodiversity for the first time, both enigmatic and beautiful. The discoveries documented in the report include 519 plants, 15 mammals, 89 frogs, 279 fish, 46 lizards, 22 snakes, 4 birds, 4 turtles, and 2 salamanders. The director of the Greater Mekong Program, Stuart Chapman, said, We thought discoveries of this scale were confined to the history books. This reaffirms the Greater Mekong's place on the world map of conservation priorities. The Laotian rock rat was thought to have been extinct for 11 million years. A corpse of one was seen on sale in a food market in 2005 by a scientist, and unknown to the researchers, it turns out that the rock rat was a popular food for the local people, eaten roasted and served whole on a skewer. Two other surprises were the discoveries of two different types of muntjac deer. One was identified in Vietnam from skulls alone. Local people described it as the deer that lives in the deep, thick forest. The Siamese Peninsula pit viper, a completely previously unknown snake, was spotted slithering through the rafters of a restaurant in Thailand. There are estimated to be 20,000 different types of plant, 1,200 species of birds, 430 mammals, 800 reptiles and amphibians, and 1,300 fish in the greater Mekong. Among the mammals is one of the two remaining populations of the critically endangered Java rhino. Deep in the forests of Tanzania, 17 new species of amphibians and reptiles were discovered in the Nguru Mountains. This area is proving to be another endangered treasure trove of new species. These rainforests in the South Nguru Mountains in eastern Tanzania were for all intents and purposes unexplored until the year 2004. Surveys conducted over the next few years to list the amphibian and reptile species resulted in the discovery of the 17 new species, completely new to science. Michelle Menegon of the Natural Science Museum of Trento in Italy and his colleagues recorded 92 herpetofaunal, 
or reptile and amphibian, species, of which 17 had never before been documented. The new species included chameleons, tree frogs, and snakes, among others, and are believed to be endemic to the region, or to belong solely to that area. Conservation of these areas is urgently needed, as there is great local pressure to cut down the forests for fuel wood collection and clearing for agriculture, including cardamom cultivation. A conservation planning process is now underway to try to save these forests, and the authors are encouraged by the efforts of a Tanzanian NGO, the Tanzania Forest Conservation Group, to work to improve conservation in the region. Other creatures have been discovered in Tanzania, which is a fairly well-studied country in Africa, a brand new species of giant elephant shrew, and a new genus of a critically endangered monkey, Kapunji, have recently been discovered. The gray-faced senji shrew is the first new species of giant elephant shrew to be discovered in more than 126 years. Sengis, which is their Bantu name, were called elephant shrews by Europeans who thought the animals were shrews with flexible trunks, not unlike an elephant. Only two populations are so far known of the gray-faced senji, covering 115 miles in the forests of the Adzungwa Mountains. It is believed the species is very rare. Although they are hunted in some areas, the real problem is the reduction and fragmentation of their habitat due to urban and agricultural development and to the extraction of timber. Tanzania's Ungzungwa mountain and forest habitat have yielded a number of incredible new species. In 2003, a new species of monkey was discovered named the Kambunji in the same forest. It was Africa's first new species of monkey discovered in over 20 years. Called the Highland Mangabee, this long-haired forest primate was first discovered by conservation biologists from the Wildlife Conservation Society. Threats to the Highland Mangabee are considerable. Logging hunted and unmanaged resource extraction are are common in these forests. Additionally, the mountains serve as a refuge for many species during the dry season, yet it has been estimated that the forests linking the mountains to adjacent areas may be completely lost by 2009 if nothing is done. Over 1,000 species, unique or endemic, have been catalogued in the eastern arc mountains of Tanzania and bordering Kenya. This remaining habitat has the highest concentration of endemic animals in all of Africa and is increasingly endangered by complex threats. At least 96 animals and 832 plants and hundreds of invertebrates, including 43 butterflies, live only there and nowhere else on Earth. Another unusual characteristic of the species living in the eastern arc mountains is that a number of them are genetically ancient. DNA analysis of forest birds indicate that some species have lineages stretching back 25 million years. Some plants and animals like bush babies and tiny little elephant shrews are thought to have evolved early in the species lineage known as primitive or ancient relic lineages. The wild areas of the Eastern Arc Mountains are pockets of the last remaining safe havens for over a thousand plants and animals found nowhere else on Earth, and some with ancient lineages stretching back in time over millions of years, keeping our wilderness areas safe from human impact so that new species can continuously be discovered and thrive is very important in the coming decades to enable researchers and scientists to continue to discover these new species before they are lost forever. This is Rita Carl, Director of Education for Challenger Center for Space Science Education, signing off.